Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style channel and today we are going to talk about daily stock market review and, and do some updates. It was bullish day, right? Bullish day and uh, the Simple Trading Style works for stocks, ETFs, options and crypto. I do publish also updates for crypto daily updates and please subscribe for YouTube channel, Telegram and Discord community and you will get notification about my all reviews. Please click the uh, like button. Thank you so much. Let's move to Vibull. If you want to learn about Vibull setup and other trainings, go to the description. There, is, there are several links to all my trainings. Okay, and thank you. Let's let me do briefly my uh, setup uh, settings. My my Vibull settings. Uh, moving averages. I made a white line. I made two hundred. Uh, purple line MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. We have three indicators. We are using three indicators. MACD, MACD is a red line, it's a signal line, and, and uh, green line is a MACD line with histogram. And RSI is a similar uh, red line, it's a signal line, and green line, it's a, a RSI line. Also, also later, green is a bullish, red is a bearish. Okay, let's do, let's start from US dollar, DXY. US dollar, DXY, it, uh, for last several days, it's a daily review, daily time frame. For the last several days, it, it, it bounced from May 200, right? May 200, May 5 did bullish crossover, and the last bar is still about May 200, 5 and 10. It's a bullish trend. MACD <laughs> ready to do bullish crossover. Also, also later in the green state. Bullish, it's a bearish for uh, indexes, right? Bullish for dollar, bearish for indexes. Let's check for hours. Four hours it's a different story, four hours it's a bearish. It was bullish and now it's a bearish. MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and ready to do bearish crossover over 20. Bearish signal on MACD and bearish signal on moving averages. Also, also later bearish also red. RSI changing direction also. And four hours it's a bearish. Let's check one hour. Yeah, one hour is a bearish since uh, one hour is a bearish for several hours. MA5 did bearish crossover. It's a bearish. MACD bearish, RSI bearish, and also Mosolator was bearish. And the last hour it changed to bullish. Let's see, maybe it will bounce from, bounce from MA100 or 200 still bearish bearish on one hour and four or four hours okay i'm sorry let's <clears throat> let's move to to cues i'm sorry to apple right let's move to apple daily Actually, I didn't start to show you the. Yeah, it's a green day, right? For all indexes, we have green day. All about one percent. It's a bullish day. That's what expected for Thanksgiving holiday, right? Season. Bullish day. Let's go back. Apple. Daily Apple green day. Um, same like yesterday. Yesterday was red, but today is green day. Uh, still above MA20 and 10, but still uh, still in the bullish mode. Bullish mode, bullish mode on MACD, bullish mode on RSI. Also, also later still bearish. That's what we have for daily. Let's check for for 4 hours, 4 hours. 
4 hours it was trying to change direction. Um, MA5 did bearish crossover. And uh, last bar moved above MA5 and 10. It's in a mix mode, MA20 uptrend. MACD wants to do bearish crossover, it's still, still in the progress. Maybe it wants to move up and close this gap before it will move down. Everything possible. MACD ready for bearish. Uh, Osmo awesome Oscillator awesome already bearish, right? Let's move to one hour. One hour for Apple. One hour for Apple, bullish, right? MACD did bullish crossover. The last bar close above all moving averages. Yeah, looks like I, like I mentioned. It wants to move and close this gap before it will move down. RSI bullish, bullish, also a little bullish. Bullish on 4 hours and 1 hour. 1 hour, 4 hours. Bullish and, and yeah, daily still bullish. Daily still bullish. Let's move to Q's. Q's daily. Q's daily still bullish. Still bullish on RSI, MACD, also later red, but it still bullish trend. Still bullish trend. Four hours. Four hours. MACD, it's a bearish trend. RSI changed direction to bullish, but also also later and MACD is still in the bearish. Uh, still in the bearish trend. Last bar touched MA20 and bounce from MA20. Bounce from MA20 like three bars ago. It's anyway, it's a bearish, still bearish signal in four hours. One hour, one hour it should be bullish, right? One hour it's bullish. But bullish crossover on RSI, bullish crossover on MACD, bullish crossover on MA5. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20. And it's closed above all moving averages, above MA50. Bullish signal, bullish signal. And maybe it's trying to close this gap also, the small gap above. And then go back to close this huge gap on one hour. Bullish on one hour. Okay. VXN, let's move to VXN. Volatility index for Qs. Bullish, uh, sorry, still bearish, but it's bullish for indexes. Bearish on daily. Bearish on all indicators. It's a bullish for Qs. Four hours. Four hours, it's bearish, MACD bearish mode, still bearish, the last bar below all moving averages, still bearish trend, one hour, one hour bearish, one hour bearish, no, no changes so far, bearish, bearish one hour, let's move to SPY, SPY daily. SPY daily, still bullish trend, MACD is still bullish. Yeah, last bar above all moving averages, still bullish. Maybe it wants to touch uh, what, 200 again. Maybe close this gap above. We'll see, still bullish. Still bullish, awesome oscillator only red. It's bearish, also oscillator only. Everything else is bullish. Yeah, we have bearish divergence on the histogram, on MACD histogram, right? On SPY, only on the histogram. Uh, let's move to 4 hours. 4 hours. For hours, yeah, it's a bearish divergence on the histogram only. On some oscillator also, bearish divergence on the histogram. Okay. Spy, uh, 
Ведь сын, бериш, бериш тренд, бери, я и твой сын, чем ты будешь. Магдил, сори, Арасел, чем ты будешь, Осмос, ты будешь. Магдил, стили, не бериш, сигнал. Ведь сын, я и твой сын, чем ты будешь, ты будешь, вил си. If it goes to bullish or it will come back to, to bearish. So far it's very bullish. One hour. One hour is bullish, right? One hour is bullish. MACD is bullish crossover. RSI also oscillator. All indicators bullish. Bullish signal. Let's see if it can do new high from here, right, but it will be bearish divergence, it's building bearish divergence. And definitely it will close this gap down, it's a huge gap. <laughs> okay, let's move to VIX, VIX, VIX daily. VIX daily, bearish trend, bearish trend, bar, yeah. All bearish, bullish divergence on the histogram, but it's still bearish. Bearish on MACD, bearish on, on the awesome oscillator on RSI, and last bar below all moving averages. It closed the gap, right? Yeah. No, it's still gap there. It's still gap there. Okay, uh, bearish on daily for weeks. For hours, bearish also on all indicators. Last bar far from 8.40. Bearish for hours. One hour. Bearish also. Wix, we have Wix bearish on all, all time frames. It's bearish for SPY. Let's move to Dow. Dow on daily. Dow on daily still bearish. Bearish trend. It was trying to change direction to bullish, but it, I'm sorry, yes. Ah, it's still VIX. On Dow, let's see. On Dow daily. Sorry, I didn't refresh the screen. On Dow is still bullish. It's still bullish. It's far from 820, right? Far from 20. That, that's what I mentioned to you before. May 20, it's uptrend. It did cross. Uh, MA200 bullish crossover, it's a, usually it's a bullish trend, bullish trend, and it's still bullish, right, it's still uptrend. We have new kind of, new, new top. On the histogram we still have bearish, bearish trend, bearish divergence, right, here is bearish, here is uptrend, on the histogram downtrend. Uh, or on RSI, it's also yeah downtrend bearish divergence. On the also also later downtrend yeah also bearish divergence bearish divergence on all indicators for Dow, for Dow on daily, and on volume right volume from here, volume downtrend also bearish divergence. But today was strong day, strong volume. Strong volume today, and uh, yeah, before that it was kind of low. Yesterday was low. Today was low. Today was uh, today was bullish and was kind of good volume. Bullish day. Bullish day with bearish divergence on all indicators. Four hours. Four hours, bullish day, bullish day, but still you have multiple bearish divergences, right? We have one, one uptrend, second up, uptrend, on the MACD it's a downtrend, downtrend, it's bearish, bearish signal, bearish divergences, a bullish signal on RSI and also also later, but bearish divergences on all indicators, bearish divergences on all indicators, RSI line still bearish. Okay, bearish divergences. 
RSI and also oscillator bullish, MACD bearish, and it has bullish bearish divergences. That's what I uh, told you yesterday. Even if it goes up, it will make it even new high from previous, uh, not all time high, just recently high. But still bearish multiple bearish divergences. It's uh, for Dow. It's a sign. Dow will go down. Dow will go down. On four hours, one hour, one hour it should be bullish, right? One hour it's a bullish, bullish day. It was bullish day. Bullish trend on all indicators with the bearish divergences, right? Even like here, from this point to this point, uptrend. And from this point to this point, downtrend. And this point, uh, not on RSI, on RSI, no divergences. On awesome oscillator, divergences, bearish divergences. Let me see on RSI, what's going on on RSI. On RSI, it has from this point, right? Still bearish divergence, still bearish divergence. Still bearish divergence, I believe it wants to go Dow wants to go bearish, close this gap and, and this gap below. Let's move to VXD. VXD volatility index for Dow still daily, still bearish. It's a bullish for Dow. Four percent bearish, four percent down today, right? Still bearish, bearish, bearish on all indicators daily. Let's move. daily on all indicators four hours bearish on all indicators below all moving averages yeah bearish crossover still bearish on four hours bearish on one hour right bearish on all time frames bearish on all time frames it means it's bullish for dow that's kind of a yeah, mixed mode, right? Dow wants to go uh, bearish on one hour, four hours. It has bearish divergences, but still bullish, uh, bullish, uh, yeah, bearish on, on, VX, on the volatility, bullish for Dow. Bullish for Dow for all time frames, but it has bearish divergences. Okay. Um, Russell, Russell 2000, Russell 2000, let's move to daily, Russell 2000, green day, uh, MACD still wants to go bearish, it wants to do bearish, it wants to do bearish crossover, uh, still below MA200, MA5, Ready to do bearish crossover. MACD ready to do bearish crossover. RSI. Awesome oscillator already bearish. It wants to go bearish. Let's see. It wants to go bearish, but still uh, in positive zone. Volume is downtrend, right? Volume downtrend on daily. Four hours. Let's see, 4 hours, 4 hours still bearish signal on MACD, uh, RSI is bullish, awesome slider bullish, and on bars, it's, it's the last bar above all moving averages, MA5 did bullish crossover, it's be bullish, bullish, bullish on, uh, on 4 hours, except MACD, the all indicators and MA5, all bullish except MACD. Yeah, still have that gap down. It will be closed. Maybe after ten after after Thanksgiving next week. Let's see if uh, one hour. One hour it's a bullish, right? Bullish on all indicators. And it, you see it it touched. Uh, uh, yeah, like. Several hours ago, it touched the me. It, it touched the. Uh, it, yeah, it touched the uh, gap down, uh, and so it was gap up. It was gap up. It touched gap up and bounced from it. Yeah, that's what will usually. It has like two two state. It it touched and move up, 
and bounce from it or it closed and bounced from the bottom so far it bounced from the uh from the top and it left a left gap above us maybe it will move up close the gap and move down we'll see okay let's do summary let's do summary it's kind of mix mode uh dow dow ready uh dow uh on daily still wants to change to bearish on four hours wants to change to bearish and has bearish divergences bearish signal and on one hour it wants to go to bearish it's still bullish, it's still bullish, but it has bearish divergences on all indicators. Dow wants to go bearish. But SPY, uh, yeah, uh, also, uh, same for, uh, same for Russell 2000, right? But SPY, SPY and, uh, SPY and Q's, kind of in different situation, they, on daily they still bullish they still bullish on four hours they they still bullish and uh, still uh, four hours bearish and one hour it's bullish it's kind of mixed mode for for uh for cues for cues for cues and spy let's see let's see it's kind of yeah mix mode yeah like i said it, it it was kind of wants to be positive and before it will go and and close this gap below okay that's that's the uh that's the today update mix mode on the on the on the indexes in some time frame it wants to go bullish at some time frame it goes uh, it wants to go bearish but generally uh it's a green day let's see uh, and it's a usually it's a green uh green week for a traditional for the histo historical it's a uh, bullish bullish week for for uh thanksgiving remember today tomorrow is the last reading day but now friday will be short day but friday uh friday after thanksgiving is a short day uh still be be ready for any volatilities okay let me move to disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this video for educational informational purposes only please read it and uh, thank you so much for watching the trading style video and it, it's this style works for stocks etfs option and crypto i do publish also other daily updates please subscribe for youtube channel telegram and discord community and click like button thank you so much and good luck by now